You can now access OpenAI's image generation model one via their API. This is OpenAI's incredible image generation capabilities that you can see here that create almost too realistic in terms of the images. By the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create or use this little API tool to generate tools like this that are going to drive traffic to your website. This is a very simple tool where you just put your API key, what you want uh, in the image to come up, generate image and it'll come up there for you. These tools might seem silly, but they can actually generate your website a lot of traffic, ranking you higher than getting you more leads or sales, whatever the purpose of your website is. The trick is that not everybody has access to the API for the image generation models. I'm gonna show you how you can certify it and how you can start using this tool today. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I run a community and a channel where I help people use and leverage these tools to rank higher on Google, GPT search and perplexity to get generate more leads or sales to their business. The one thing you need is obviously access to the playground. If you don't have access to the playground, you can create an account right away. This is different from the front end or the normal GPT we're all used to using. What I want you to do is go to the platform, so platform.openai.playground, and if you haven't created an account, it'll look a little bit like this. You do need to add some credits because it allows you to get an API key which you pay for as you use. It's not a subscription model or anything like that. You need to go on the settings and need to go on the billings, and you need to make sure that you've got some sort of credit a card here. You can either set it to auto recharge or whatever you want there, but I'm not gonna go through that. As long as you've got some sort of payment method, you should be good to go. The next thing you need to do is go to general. And here in verifications, if you haven't verified it, you'll see a button that says get verified. That's the one thing that a lot of people aren't realizing they need to do to be able to use this model, uh, the API, the image generation model, sorry, through the API. Once you click verified, it'll ask you to scan your phone and take a picture of a government issued ID. This can be a passport, a driver's license, you get the idea. I myself did a passport. Where this information goes for OpenAI, I've got no idea, so do with that what you will. But the verification process only took a few minutes. Once I took the photo, it took about 30 seconds to analyze it and then I was approved. Only then, once you're approved, you can use this API key. You can use it by going on the playground here and clicking on this images button here. And now we can start using this tool in the back end, in the playground. Let's create a little silly image. For example, um, a dog sitting in a park bench, reading a book, All right? Silly, but we know that it's gonna be AI generated because of the topic. Before we hit enter, we can see that they've got pre-built prompts, which are really handy. We've got some settings here. We can make it square portrait landscape and we can change the quality. I'm gonna go landscape and you can also increase the number of images that are generated around this prompt. Let's increase that to two and see what happens. After a couple of seconds, we have our dog sitting on a park bench reading, in fact, a book, and it looks pretty realistic. We can see the image a little bit bigger if we click the expand button, and it all looks pretty real. We even see the code that was used to make that call. And now, if we go back here, we can click this arrow button here, and that is because we selected it to create two images. So if we created four or five, we could keep scrolling. But for now, we just have the two. And now we've got another image here, which is pretty good. Although he looks like he's stuck in the park bench. So I might use the other one here. There's a few more things that you can do now that you've got this original image, right? So let's say I want to remix this image or change something about it. I can go to the plus and you can see that it's added down here. And it says, describe the changes you want to make. Let's make it, I want the dog to be reading a comic book, right? Let's make that change, see if it understands that. So now the only thing that should be changed is the book itself should be changed to a comic book. Now we'll come back to that in a second, but then how do you now create tools like this that I can place on the website where all you do need to place is your API key, a prompt, and then you can generate the image. Well, the first thing you do need is obviously understand where you get your API key from the playground. Inside the playground, you need to go to the settings section and you'll see here a choice that says API keys. What you need to do is create a new secret key, name it, for example, image tool, and you need to select a project. You can create a project easily. I'm gonna create a new key. 
The main thing here is to save this key because you're not going to have access to it again or you won't be able to see it again. So save it somewhere that you can reference it. I'm just going to delete this so nobody tries to use my API key. Once you've got that, we can start using it in other applications. But then how did I create this little tool that creates images like the one we saw uh, of the dog in a park bench? It's very easy. We can use smart coding models like Gemini 2.5 Advanced Pro, for example, which is an unreal coding machine, or you can use things like OpenAI's O3 or O4 model. They're all smart enough, but there's two fundamental things that you need to do. One is you need to grab the documentation on how to use these models. Now let's just double check back on our image though. I wanna see our dog reading the comic books and it's definitely reading a comic book. I'm sure he is enjoying that. Okay, so where do I find the documentation for how these things work? I find that this works a lot better if you find the docs on the images. For example, I hear, I look at here the core concept, image and vision generation capabilities. I want to create images. And now I've got the guides on how this thing works. I'm pretty lazy, so I just copy this whole thing and it'll copy all of the images. And let's start a new chat and we'll build the same thing here. We're gonna try it with Gemini 2.5 Pro. And I'm going to say to just paste all of the information here. But before I hit enter, I'm gonna ask it to help me create a simple HTML app, web app that I can inject in my website that people can use to create images using the GPT Image 1 API key. The idea is for a user to create their own API key and then place in a prompt, generate an image, and we can see the image that we generated. Something very simple. By the way, if you like this transcription tool, it's called Super Whisper. It's really, really good to make it work a little bit quicker. So now I've got that prompt. I need to say one more thing. I'm going to give you all of the documentation and how to call this API key or this API information. Because if I don't, it tends to use internal knowledge that can be how to call DALI 3, for example, which is not what we want to do. So it's understanding the goals and everything it needs to do. The beautiful thing about trying this in Gemini is that you can use the canvas feature and it'll open up on the right hand side to give you a direct preview of this tool. And you can actually try it out right on the platform, making it very easy to go back and forth with it. So you can see that it used a couple of stylings and what I want to do is tell it to please just write everything in one single HTML so I can inject it on my website and I want to preview it. So when I prompt it again, I'm just going to also click the canvas button so it knows, okay, I need to show this person what this application looks like. I'm going to open the canvas so I can demonstrate what this application is going to look like. And now in a matter of seconds, I've got my application. So let's try it out. I'm going to place in my API key. I've got my saved here in my little uh, extension that I've built. And let's say a dog sitting in a park bench playing on a mobile phone, just to change it up a little bit. I'm going to generate image. And this is perfect. I love the fact that we're getting an error because it just means that we need to give that error to Gemini. I'm just going to give it the error and see what happens. Let's try this one more time. Let's get our OpenAI API key. Uh, let's say um, a dog sitting in a park bench playing on a phone. Now I'm just trying it again with the changes that it made. And this time it looks like it's working. It needs to take a little while to generate that image, make the call and then bring the image back. Let's see if it works. Great, and now it's working. Here's the, the dog. I don't know why that's funny, sorry. Here's the dog. Looks like he's got a sad DM on Instagram. But anyway, so now we know that it's working. What do you do and how do you place this on your website really easily? You just need the code. So in the back end, I've created a page here, brand new page. All you need is to be able to embed code into your website. So if I open this up, I can see that this is the code that Gemini gave me. All I did was paste it in here, save it, publish my website. And now in the front end, I see this tool here that generates the images. I'll leave this tool linked in the video description below so you can test it out. That is it. There's obviously a endless amount of possibilities that you can do with this tool, but it's really cool that we can play around with it on the playground. We can test its capabilities. Another cool thing that they've released is a bit of a 
cookbook, an image generation cookbook, which can be kind of interesting to go through it, how they think about generating images, the complete capabilities, the fact you can not only make the images in a PNG, but in a WebP file. That's really good because it's lighter, doesn't make your website heavy if you're uploading those kind of files. That's pretty much it. If you want to learn how to use these tools, leverage AI and automations to rank really well, you should consider joining our online community, AI Ranking, where we're helping people rank. And this one is crazy. This just happened a day ago. Daniel increases clicks by 1,235%. I swear to God, I'm not making this stuff up because it's not rocket science. It's just with a little bit of help, you can go a long way. And this amount of traffic is almost duplicating his business. You can see that he posted that for us. So if you want to get this type of results, increasing your traffic tenfold or 1,235%, Try it out. You can try it out risk-free for seven days, meaning if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back 100% guaranteed. But those who take action and join our community because you can talk with experts back and forth about the best cause of plan for your SEO to get more traffic, they tend to win. Anyway, if you've got any questions about the new if you have any questions about the new image generation capabilities from OpenAI, just leave it in the comments below. I hope you liked this quick video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.